Hi there, in the short lecture we will learn about archiving files or zipping them or maybe unzipping those archive files. That's what we are going to learn within the short lecture and if you are first time listening zipping or archiving it's nothing but you can in you know, a group of couple of files into one file so that you can compress it and you can save the size of that file and you can simply send that single file to your um, maybe or the email or to somewhere and other person can simply unarchive that or unzip that to get exact files so that during the transportation you have you will be getting two advantages one would be the grouping other one would be the compressing in terms of the size so that being said let's actually have a look on it so i'll open my file explorer and i'll navigate to a folder called my documents and then within this project i do have a sample zip file okay you could see here this is a zip file some uh, compressed file which has a size of 53 mb which is uh, huge right it meaning it might contain lot of the files so if i just double click on that it consists of lot of files right so it's a group of multiple files close to 18 different files are grouped together and showing as a single file by the way how would i know that it's a zip uh, i know that because as seen earlier right if you're if you're looking for the first time you could actually look at here file type as a compressed or zipped folder right and you could also get the file extension by going to the three dots go to the options and configure here on the views show hide extensions for unknown file type you know just check this box and then uncheck that checkbox and now you would able to see that there's something called ending with a dot zip it just looks like a folder icon but this is ending with a zip file meaning it's a compressed folder right that's why it's showing as a compressed folder as a file type and let's say I wanted to compress some files how would I do that I'm talking about the files not on the folder so let's go to this subfold uh, called uh, sub projects let's say I want these uh, files to be compressed let's say if I want to select multiple things if you remember we learned uh, by selecting first clicking on the first icon or the first file and then till wherever you want till that place you can simply hold the shift key and click on it so it will automatically select one by one in this case 36 out of files 14 were selected and simply right click and press this button called compress to zip file or you can click on three dots to compress to zip file so that it actually compresses all these files and makes a single file called with the first file name so in this case if I just click on compress file the first file whatever it is uh, we selected with that file name a compressed folder gets created right and I have an opportunity here to you know rename properly so I'll just say this is a sample one dot zip file so I'll just say hit enter so that it gets the sample zip file so let's have a look on it you know what it can consist so if I just go back to this folder I can see these uh, total 14 items which we selected got compressed and it is part of this zip file let's say i want to work with any of these files i have an opportunity uh, to only copy these files to maybe my documents here like you know drag and drop or if i just copy paste so these files are extracted to documents now so i'm able to see these files now outside of that zip file let's say i want to i want to completely unzip what I can do is I can right click here and extract all so that it's going to create a folder name called sample one if you see here sample one folder getting created and click on extract that's gonna uh, create a folder called sample one if you see here sample one and it has extracted all the files so you could actually make a change once you extract it so remember guys you should always make a changes to the zip file after the extract but not inside the zip file let's say I wanted to edit some file from a zip file for example the sample file 
you do not do that it's not recommended because it is inside a compressed one so the changes may lose you may lose the changes so that's why you don't do that so always extract and then uh, work on it so this is how you can extract you can compress so we talked about the files compressed now let's talk about a project or a folder to be you know, compressed let's say I want to compress this entire sub project so I can right click on it and I can do the same steps that we have done earlier like you know either I can go to the three dots and compress it or I can right click and simply I get here compressed to zip file so now before I compress let me show you what is the current size of this folder so if you see if I just you know move my uh, mouse cursor I can see here it's actually showing as a 72.9 MB or I can just right click and go to the properties by clicking on show more and this will show me total 73 MB with the 51 files and one folder inside that subfolder so this is how you could look at the properties now let's actually compress it and see what is the size it becomes so I'm just clicking on compress so all the files if you see it is actually compressing and now I got the 62 MB only so now if the actual size of this folder is 73 MB now it became as only 62 MB so or 60 MB it is close to right so that's a major difference between uh, when you compress you get the opportunity to interact with a lesser files so let's say I want to show here yeah so if you compare these two files here uh, one with the zip file and other one without the zip it is actually compressed and save the disk space also on your machine but when you want to send it's easy to send a single file to anyone for example I want to mail or I want to share this file to someone or I want to copy it to my USB stick I can easily do that as a single file as a compressed format and all I have to do is once I have uh, this file in my hand I can actually unzip it so that it becomes it extracts all the files and can be used this is how you could actually use zipping unzipping or archiving folders or files I hope this short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this